Hello everyone. Let me show you a new feature that just appeared in the image web part in SharePoint pages. So let's create a new page by clicking the new and we will choose the pages. Let's choose the blank uh, template and actually we can give the page a title. Let's call it test. Uh, we'll click on the plus and we will choose an image web part. Now uh, we need to choose an image, so let's look in the stock image and let's choose this image. So now we see it and actually it's, it's big because the section is actually uh, quite big. So let's go to the section and maybe change the section to two columns. So actually now if we go here we'll see uh, new updated uh, settings for this image. The first one is actually we can edit the web part. We can choose either to change the image or we can also put uh, a link. That means when we click on the image it will actually um, direct us to the image. Now what happens is actually if we don't put the link it will uh, only open up the image in a full screen. Now we can add some text overlay as you can see here. We'll get to that later. So uh, the first icon is actually adding the web part. Second one is actually uh, duplicating the web part as you can see it created another one. The third thing is actually deleting the web part and that's not really what we want. Uh, next one is actually browsing the image. It will let us choose from the images that we can upload or from the stock image. Next one is text overlay. As we saw, you can enter 48 uh, characters. Now if we click here on the setting, we'll see additional options that were not there. So actually let's put some text here. This is our test. And if we go here, we can change the text options. You see actually now the text option is red or black. We can change the size. We can uh, make it italic or bold. And we can also uh, change the text for color. So if it's now white, now it's black and it can be red, whatever we choose. Uh, we can also change this uh, opaxi. So you see either uh, we don't see any background or we can make it very soft. We can change the image overlay and the image of overlay uh, transparency. So for people that are expert in uh, graphics, they, they will know what to do with it. So these options are new and I did not see them until now. Um, we can uh, resize of course. So you see I can make it bigger or smaller. What else can we do? We can crop. So these are all of the options. We can make it square. We can make it 2 by 3. And uh, if we click on it, it actually will crop it. We can also change it to anything else and once we click on it uh, then we will see what's uh, what's there. So actually uh, we'll go to the next setting is alignment. We can make it aligned to the right, aligned centered or to the left. So I, I will just choose uh, the image because uh, something it uh, doesn't look good, so let's choose the image. Uh, here we are. Okay. So we have this image and uh, we see what else can we do. So we now actually have advanced editing. So uh, if before we could edit the image in the document library, now we can do it while adding it to the web part. So as you can see here, I can click on the advanced settings and now I have all kinds of options to edit the image. So first of all, as you can see, I can change the diagonal of, of the image. 
uh, you can see here I can flip it up and down, right to left, I can rotate it, uh, I can crop it. So you see I have cropped it. I can do some adjustments to the brightness of the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, the shallow shadow and uh, this setting, which I'm not sure exactly what it is. So th these are the adjustments you see here. I can change uh, also the, the zoom in. We can go to filters and I can choose the original or I can make it golden, uh, the intensity. Uh, if we scroll down, I should see here also some uh, black and white possibilities. For some reason it's hard to see. So uh, let's make it vintage, something like that. It's black and white. That's perfect. And we can add some markup. So we have all of these uh, possibilities. So I can uh, add some text. I can make a marker. I can delete. And this is actually, I'm not sure what it is. So once I'm done, I can actually uh, reset. I can do undo and I can save. And now we see the image that I was actually uploaded after I did some um, uh, configuration on it. So now we can save the page and actually we have the image as we want uh, using these powerful um, image uh, possibilities. Now this is actually, uh, as I explained, it's something uh, once we uploaded the image and we want to do this during the uh, creating of the page. But actually this functionality also exists even before that, also in OneDrive and also in SharePoint. So as you can see here, I have an image in the document library and it's just an image. I can click the edit. And now I have the same functionalities for the image, even if it's not uh, going to be on a page. Yep. Uh, so th this is the crop. We have the adjustments as we saw, the light exposure, the filters. So let's make it black and white, the markup. And here we have a possibility either to save it uh, on the existing one or just to make a copy. So it created a copy. If we go here, we have color one and color. And this is the original one. And this is actually how it looks. So we can see it also in tile view. You see, this is the original. This is the change. We made it smaller, so it looks like that. Uh, I just wanted to show you actually uh, something about the linking of uh, the link to, to our image. So. If we don't put an image, if we put an image, you'll see, I click on it. If I put a link to an image, it will uh, direct me to the link. But if I don't, actually it will show the image in the same page. Uh, let me just uh, go to the settings. We move this, in, this link. Let's publish the page. Now, what happens is actually I see the image. If I click on it, it just opens it in the same page. Now, uh, to be honest, uh, sometimes we need uh, images just with no link, uh, and we there's no sense to to have uh, that people will click on it over, all of a sudden. So that's maybe something that hopefully Microsoft in the future will take in consideration. I mean, if there's a link. Uh, click it. If you want to doesn't have a link, then uh, don't open it up or maybe give the possibility. So thank you very much. Goodbye.